Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Now this video is going to be really interesting because in this video we are going to use a concept of two pointers to solve this problem and also we'll be working with strings. So let's dive straight into the question first and understand what the question is about. Okay, so the question we have uh, we are given a string let's say id id for this question okay and we need okay we don't need this sorry okay so we need to create a resulting array okay of size one greater than the given size of our string okay so in this case the size is uh, size of the string is four so four plus one is five so our array length is going to be five now how are we going to fill this resulting array so we we are given two conditions first if the character is i that means the result at i index is always going to be less than result of i plus one index and if it is d then result at i index is going always going to be greater than result at i plus one index okay so let me let me show you like the solution for this problem is uh, 0 4 1 3 and 2 okay so if we go through like the solution okay we will get back our string so how let's let's uh, follow these conditions and uh, generate so i is less like result at i is less than uh, 0 is less than 4 so it's going to be i 4 is greater than 1 so it's d 1 is less than 3 so i 3 is greater than 2 so d so we have got our uh, string back okay so that is how we are going to th that is what the question means we need to create this resulting array but how are we going to solve this so let's jump into the solution so basically we are going to follow two pointers approach now how are we going to do that so let me write this uh, string again id id i will take a left pointer that will point to 0 and a right pointer that will point to the uh, last like that will be equal to this length of our string so that is 4 okay and our resulting array that is 1 2 3 4 and 5 now to fill this what we'll do is we will check our index first okay at this index we will check like okay we'll go through our uh, string if we encounter i at this index we will put left pointer and we will increment our left pointer okay and if we encounter a d we will give it a right pointer value we will decrement our right pointer value okay so i so left pointer left pointer will increment okay and d so d is right pointer and right pointer decrement okay now if you will see we have gone through our uh, string okay but still one position is pending to fill okay so how are we going to fill that for this we will check the last character given in our string okay if it is i then the same left pointer plus plus like it will be equal to left pointer okay and if it is d then it will be equal to right pointer so in our case it is d so d is right pointer so right pointer is 2 okay so we have got our resulting array now i'm sorry uh, if you have understood this i will suggest that you write the score you try to write the score on your own if not then uh, you can continue watching the code that i'll be writing okay so let's jump into the code so first thing that we need is our uh, result vector okay so let me create that and its size is going to be one greater than our given string okay apart from this we need two pointers one is going to be our left pointer and another is going to be our right pointer that will be equals to the length of our string Another thing that we need is our index that will help us to uh, move through our resulting array. So right now here, then here, and then here, then here, and then, okay. Now let's go through our result, uh, I'm sorry, 
let's go through our string so that's going to be okay if a uh, character at uh, our string is equals to i in that case our result thing index okay let me write this normally and then i will refactor it our result index is going to be equals to left pointer okay after this we'll increment our index and we'll increment our left pointer but this doesn't look very tidy right so let me do this here only this is uh, like a shorter way to do this and since it is uh, just one statement in the if so we don't need the curly braces similarly now if it is i then we'll go into if uh, if condition and after that if it is not an i then we don't need to check up for the d uh, for, for the character d because we are given only two characters it will be either i or d and if it is not i then it is definitely going to be only and only d so we'll not be using else if but only else okay and we'll check result index result index and again plus plus that is going to be equals to right pointer and we are going to decrement our right pointer this much is done but our last pointer like the last uh, cell that is still empty for that what we check if s at uh, dot uh, size minus one that is the last character if that is equals to i in that case our resulting index that is going to be equals to left pointer else our result index that is going to be equal to right pointer okay our task is done just return this result let me submit this i hope i did not make any mistake here okay so it's really that simple um these uh, two pointers are really helpful it's a really helpful concept to solve uh, a lot of questions okay and um, <clears throat> it can be used as a as a sub step to reach your final solution okay so that's the that's it for this video i hope you liked it thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one till then keep coding